are actually two common market stores in the city of Charlotte and in the whole world. The first one opened in Plaza Midwood in 2002. My thought process was, was to kind of create the atmosphere of when I was a kid in Wingate, North Carolina, this place called Austin's General Store, where my dad took me to get a pack of nabs and a cheer wine after my t-ball game. So that was the original concept. Basically a neighborhood convenience store slash meeting place that curtails itself to the particular neighborhood that it's in. We also carry a huge variety of little weird toys and novelty things just to give people a kick. It's a place where community, democracy, creativity, sense of civic engagement and pride all grow. And what we really wanted to do was to try to see how do we make those things happen in a dirty little convenience store. For us, the third place was a place where it's not work, it's not home, but it's the place you like to be. It's the place in between. Some examples of other third places would be Caribou Coffee on East Boulevard, Seoul on Central Avenue, Alexander Michaels in Fourth Ward, Laurel Market in Eastover, uh, Central Coffee on Central Avenue. Amelie's is a great example. <laughs> The concept was to provide a place that created sort of a social utopia here in Charlotte where everybody can come and enjoy and spend a lot of time all night if they want, really. We have everything, meetups, knitting clubs, people that come and play Dungeons and Dragons, people bring their guitars, they write songs here, they write books, they study, they work. Charlotte is such a melting pot. We have people from all over, both native Charlotteans and people from all over the world, and that really does reflect here at Amelie's. It brings an interesting perspective to the business. And since we do operate trying to honor our community, I think it, it helps us.